Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are going to be looking at one of the craziest right wing slash right back player who was actually a right winger, you know, for a long time in Real Madrid and who has been transitioned into the right back fallback position. He's been doing really well for Real Madrid right now. He's none other than Lucas Vasquez, you guys, the replacement or the number two to Danny Harvahal. So we are going to be looking at this person's live touch SBC in today's video. So we're going to be discussing about his stats and then we'll look at what squads you need to complete in order to get this card. I'll put him in the team and we'll see how he actually is. Is his stats true to the card stats or is it a bit better or a bit underrated? So we'll do all that in today's video now. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you guys stick till the end and yeah, let's get started. So first things first with this card is his alternate position guys. He was actually, actually his preferred position was right back. If you see like three, four years back, uh, we all remember when he used to assist Ronaldo from the right wing position and Ronaldo scoring those goals for Real Madrid. But now, right now in this day and age, he plays at right back. And his alternate positions are right wing, right mid and right wing back. So he can play in four different positions all at the right side. So that is a, that is something good, you know, some somebody to actually cover most of the positions on the right hand side. Uh, and Lucas Vasquez is a really, really good player and he has 4 star skill move and 5 star weak foot guys which is really good because when you are going from that right position and you have a player who is right footed and also has a 5 star weak foot which is this left foot he can actually come inside break into the box and score with this weak foot which, which is actually 5 star rated so basically he is a left footer as well at certain points and he has a high attacking work rate so he's an attacking more of a attacking mindset right back fall back so it is good to have somebody who's you know attacking and defensive on both the sides one attacking one defensive on either side it'll be really good uh but yeah five foot eight player he's been playing for madrid for a long time as well so yeah now looking at his stats apart from all these uh five star weak foot four star skill move uh explosive and his positions and stuff looking at his stats it looks insane guys i don't know what else to say i mean 93 pace has 93 acceleration and sprint speed uh just off the paper stats it looks really nice now i don't know how he's going to be in game we'll find out in in just a while but on paper these stats look really nice now i don't know how many of you guys are uh, you know excited about this card and i've already got this card and started playing with him uh, these stats look really nice. He has uh, 94 shot par with 90 shooting. Only because of his volleys and penalties, his shooting stats as overall is 86. But apart from that, he has 85 finishing, 94 attacking position, uh, attacking position as well, and 91 passing. Look at his crossing, 94 crossing, guys. He has 93 shot pass. He has 94 curve. Imagine 94 shot par and 94 curve and from with five star weak foot you can do wonders with this player and he has really good dribbling 92 dribbling he has a decent defense as well 85 defense he has 86 stand defense and uh, 86 light tackle he I mean, it is a good player i mean he is a good player he has 99 stamina guys now this is where i thought there is no i mean even if he didn't have 99 stamina i would have 100 percent done this player because i love lucas vasquez real madrid player my love so yeah we are excited about this player 99 stamina is something out of this world and something that you guys need to know about live touch is here i think this is how live touch works you are two wins in the next four league games plus one overall and the players club scores eight goals in the next four games plus one overall so this card has the potential to go to 93 so yeah, it's all it's all good fun and games. Uh, let us hope Real Madrid are a monstrous out there on the pitch as well. Now he has two playstyle pluses, one in passing, which is the whip pass plus, and one in defense, which is the jockey plus increased max speed of print jockey and greatly improves transition speed from jockey to sprint. I have no clue what that is, but okay, he has two skill plus, I mean playstyle pluses. I am happy with that. Now to complete this squad. I mean to complete this player you to get to this player you need to complete two squad builds an 85 rated squad build with a spanish and a team of the week player in it and the second one is an 86 rated squad build 
you need a team of the week and a la liga player in it so i am going to complete both of this and then we'll go add him in the club and see how he is actually in game okay i have completed both the squad builds now i am going to submit this final one and then we'll go put him in the team we will be getting our lowly lucas vasquez here and then we'll go put him in the team and see what game we can play we are going to be playing squad battle stage i'll be really really honest and truthful about it we are not going to go play rivals and all that big stuff we're going to just you know try the card we are just going to try the card so we're just going to do what is necessary for that uh now let us come actually go where it is go to play go to squad battles and we select a good good opponent good opponent yeah i think 89 will do world class sure why not we are dangerous that way now i am actually come trying to complete this uh el charabe what is this what do you call this evolution you guys know when the video came out and i'm still struggling with this evolution so yeah that's how far behind i am with my grind so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring in car i mean i'm gonna bring out carvajal to just bring him somewhere here and we will actually put our lowly lucas was case whom we just got whom we just literally got i'm not gonna play any i'm not gonna put any play style on him just yet i mean chemistry style on him i uh, will just see how the card is without any chemistry style uh, so this is how the updates are on his uh, certain stats without any you know chemistry style he has player chemistry 3 so some of the stats get plus 4 plus 4 over there when he is in this team so we're just gonna play like this and see how we're able to you know use him in the right wing position he's gonna be is he gonna have good pace is he gonna have good passing is he gonna have good crossing those are some of the stats we saw which were really good so we'll see how those stats are in game Lucas was case Wow, I am so bad at controlling players when it comes to recording videos. I don't know, when I'm not recording videos, I just play so well. And when I'm recording videos, I play so bad. Oh, not bad. Defending was really good. Uh, no dribbling. Dribbling actually comes up to you guys. I mean, if you have good sense of controlling and, you know, spacing out your controller, you'll be able to dribble really well with them and the crossing also was really nice i mean passing passing you guys saw the pass and you guys saw the dribbling with him he has really good pace as well on him so we'll try to take him from you know the right hand side the side bead he actually rules he has decent pace guys i'm not gonna say that is bad he has really good pace crossing can be a bit better but yeah it is what it is not bad not bad is it worth completing an 85 rated squad build and an 86 rated squad build for this card i mean see i am gonna be a bit biased here because i love the player and i love the club he plays for so i would definitely say it is worth it now you might want to have to watch a few more videos on you know what the general uh, people who you know play with a lot of players and complete these squad builds and see what they say so yeah they might have a bit of difference in opinion but i am definitely gonna say i will be using him in my main squad 100 percent because he's really good look at the pace look at the dribbling now crossing somebody please come there decent crossing as well now the, some of the players that i'm using might not be the best players in those certain position but i just have an emotional attachment to certain players here that's why they're in my team otherwise i don't even care about them most of these players that are in my team are always in some way or form attached to me in my heart i mean i don't know if that sounds very bad or wrong but yeah it is what it is i might lose this but i don't care because i am playing with a team that i like now vasquez player review is he worth it is he a good card i don't know if it's worth it but he is definitely a good card i would say that much is the player a really good player 91 rated Vasquez, 100% is the SBC worth completing? Maybe, maybe. Uh, no, yeah, that is one thing where I'm confused because I would say it is worth it. Like I said, I might be a bit. Ooh, 
that is a good curve you know that was some there was some good dip and some good curve on that shot from Lucas Vasquez like I said Lucas Vasquez is a very attacking mindseted player guys so if you need a good attacking fallback you may definitely uh, you know enjoy playing with Lucas Vasquez like I said he's he has good pace he has good cross he has good curve he has a good bit of shot power on him so all these combinations really you know he has a good bit of first touch as well and he has good dribbling if you know how to play this game properly i think you'll be able to dribble really well with him as well look at that i am no good in this game and i am doing all those things and i'm playing with an 89 rated squad build team at world class difficulty usually i will be so bad oh i'm still losing huh. i mean i'm still bad but at least the player that i got is playing well in his position his defense his stand tackling his attacking position all really good uh track back is one thing that i don't like in this game because even though a player has 99 pace the track back mechanism in this game is so trash but yeah it is what it is but uh, is this card really good i would i would 100 percent suggest you guys complete this squad build so that you guys get a good 91 rated right back what is this camera angle it is making me nauseous so i will see you guys in the next video until then take care stay safe stay motivated and keep smiling guys bye bye